What's going on guys, Living Zombies here, back with another Pokemon Go video. And in today's video, guys, we did just have a spotlight hour yesterday on Tuesday at 6 p.m. local time, of course. And in that spotlight hour, it did feature three different Pokemon, Ghastly, Duskull, and Litwick, three awesome ghost type Pokemon featured. Now the question is, what will the spotlight hour be next Tuesday? Because do remember on their content update infographic, it was question marks, right? It was an unannounced spotlight hour it, this will be a surprise spotlight hour on october 29th they have yet to announce what this spotlight hour could be they haven't even gave a hint as to what this pokemon could be that will be featured on october 29th with the bonus of two times catch candy which doesn't even matter because it's two times catch candy during the halloween event anyways but yeah the question is what pokemon could be featured in this spotlight hour i do have four pretty good guesses as to what this spotlight hour could be my number one guess is definitely that which hat pikachu this would not be the first time a costumed pikachu would be featured for a spotlight hour so i could for sure see them doing that for this upcoming spotlight hour the og witch hat pikachu is back so what better way to celebrate that by giving it a spotlight hour on that tuesday so yeah that's my first guess my second guess which is one that i'm dreaming of right my second guess is gala or Corsola guys now this one is kind of reaching here because yeah we don't have Galar Corsola in the game yet but do remember this is a heavily themed Galar season so why not drop some more Galar Pokemon and drop this Galar form of Corsola because there have been some data mines about Galar Corsola one that I remember from the Pokemon group is this one right here back on August 27th the stats for Galar Corsola have been adjusted and also the move set got adjusted too on that same day so yeah the stats are there the stamina attack defense stats are all there for the galler corsola but then also for some reason on september 24th they did mention this corsola's cry has been removed i think that's the last data mine we've had for galler corsola so maybe sometime here soon they'll add back the cry for galler corsola and we'll get a spotlight hour for that pokemon again that's my second guess my third guess i'm also dreaming of this one too i would be very happy with this one a grievard spotlight hour with the shiny featured do remember grievard made its pokemon go debut last year for the halloween event it is featured for part one right now during the halloween event it's also spawning quite a bit in the wild but unfortunately they did not drop the shiny for it so maybe they'll drop the shiny of grievard in part two for the spotlight hour and make it pretty rare because grievard is not featured in part two so therefore your only chance to get the shiny would be in that one spotlight hour so maybe it will be grievard or maybe they'll do a pretty cool a pretty fun shiny boosted spotlight hour and feature none other than Zorua. Zorua has been heavily featured in part one and it will be featured in part two as well and to remember in part one and part two shiny zorua is shiny boosted in the wild with a shiny rate of 1 and 128 so why not give this shiny boosted pokemon a spotlight hour so those are my four guesses as to what this spotlight hour could be if you guys have any guesses as to what it could feature let me know your guesses down below guys but topic number two i want to get into in today's video is a brand new dynamax debut and also a new type of weekly reoccurring event just like how we get spotlight hours every week on tuesday and also how we get raid hours on every wednesday of every week we are now getting max mondays every monday from 6 p.m to 7 p.m that same local time this will be starting on november 11th and it will feature a certain dynamax pokemon that will take over all max battles at power spots for that one hour time frame so the first Dynamax Pokemon to be featured in these Max Mondays will be Dynamax Charmander. So starting at 6 p.m., all the power spots around you should feature Dynamax Charmander until 7 p.m. local time. And then the week after, Dynamax Drillbur. This is a brand new Dynamax debut. Do remember, Drillbur and Excadrill do have that ground typing. These are pretty good ground type Pokemon. So Dynamax Excadrill will be a good counter to use 
that following weekend for the global wild area events up against Dynamax and Gigantamax Toxtricity. Ground type Pokemon are best to use up against Toxtricity. So I do recommend doing some Dynamax Drillbird during this time frame so you guys can use it up against Dynamax and Gigantamax Toxtricity. It will be a very good counter. And the following week on the 25th will be Dynamax Bulbasaur. And then on December 2nd, it will be Dynamax Squirtle. And I do reckon that Dynamax Drillbear should be a one star difficulty, just like how Ghastly, who debuted this month, is also a one star Dynamax raid boss. So, yeah, again, guys, comment below your guesses for the mystery spotlight hour. And also comment below if you guys are excited for Max Mondays here in Pokemon Go. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like in the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.